Hey guys, it's Lachlan here, and I'm so excited to today talk about how to get the most out of the Focal Website Builder. Now, this is a new product that we developed after seeing so many of our photographers succeed with our pro plans. Those are our more custom sites. Um, we decided to build a product that would actually allow you guys to build your own Focal Website with some of the essential features and benefits of our pro plans yourselves using our Easy Builder. You can manage your packages. You can build a little portfolio, uh, and you can take inquiries and get bookings through your website. So I'm really excited to show this off to you today. I just want to mention that the Focal Website Builder is available on our essential plans, um, primarily our website plan and our all you need plan. So if you're wanting to build your own Focal Website, those are kind of the plans for you. So I'm really excited to dive into the builder and show you what it's capable of. I'm going to take you into Taylor's test site here to show you what the creator is all about. So the website builder or the creator, it uses our AI assistant to actually help you a lot with writing. So it's really easy to regenerate, for example, um, the description text or some of these taglines um, to help inspire you to um, talk about yourself and share who you are on your website. Now we really believe at Focal that customers, they're picking you obviously for your photos, but they're also uh, picking you for you. And that's why our websites are really designed to show off who you are and make it easy for your clients to get information about booking. So you'll notice that like on a lot of our focal sites, there's always like a tagline that talks about, you know, where you're actually based as a photographer. It has your name um, and also encourages you to share a bit about yourself and show a photo of you because you know if you look at this nice guy you're here you're like oh yeah he would be a great photographer he looks super friendly and nice <laughs> and that's really important because if your clients can't really imagine who you are it's going to be really difficult for them to imagine you there um, working with them on their big day so i want to take you through the builder and some of the different functionality that, that it has i'm going to start here in the hero header as well as the foundation section and then I'm gonna move on to some of the more advanced features like our nav bar customization. I'm just gonna get rid of my face here for a quick sec because it's in the way of this button. Um, and I'm gonna open up our foundation selection. So the foundation um, section here is really to cover all of the major foundational elements of your website. So it involves like your logos, um, being able to change your font themes, your color themes, and the actual template of the site. So if you click here to select your foundation base, it's really easy to choose a different design. It's pretty awesome with focal sites because that design will just automatically get applied to your site, you know, and they all have their own feel and they have their own style. And the cool thing with focal foundations is you can change them at any time. You never have to worry about your site breaking when you change a foundation. Uh, your site is always designed to work with all the different foundations. So, it's really easy again to switch your foundation up like that. And as we launch new foundations, you'll be able to switch uh, to those new foundations really easily, which is really uncommon for website builders. Typically, you know, if you ever wanted to change the design of your site, you're pretty much you know, starting all over again. So I'm gonna actually just reset. Uh, I'm just gonna go to, actually I like this one. I'll use Champagne. This one is based off the lovely Lindsay Coulter. And uh, I'm going to show you as well how to change, you know, some of the colors. So we have different color themes that you can use to style up your site and make it look and feel more like you. You can also adjust uh, fonts very easily. You can kind of scroll and see how it changes the site as you do that. Another quick tip is you'll see as you're highlighting the preview sections in your site, there's a little edit button. And if you click that, it's going to quickly take you over to exactly how to change um, that element on your site. I'm just going to pop back to the foundation section here and show you one more quick tip that um, you might want to know. So if you don't have your own logo, a cool thing about the Focal Website Builder is it'll actually generate one for you. And each template actually comes with its own little logo style. And uh, it's pretty easy. You'll see that this logo just swapped out here. Um, this is like the logo generated style for Champagne. And so what's cool is if you really like this logo, you can save it and then you can also take that logo and kind of use it on other um, templates as well. So now you've got this logo, but if I go back to the foundation and switch, 
it's still there. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And each foundation kind of, again, has its own logo. If you want to see what that logo looks like, just switch to that foundation, remove the logo from here, and it'll regenerate with your current foundation template. So I'm just going to keep the previous uh, champagne one because I like it. And uh, I'll use this one for the rest of the example. Uh, the next important part here is the hero header. So the hero header accepts up to four images uh, and it has um, both your desktop and your mobile images. So if we go to mobile here, you'll see we've got the mobile images in here and uh, they're in a carousel, which is, which is really nice. You can also check out the tablet view if you wanna see how your site's looking like on tablet. That's about it for the hero header. Now we're gonna to move to the about section. So you have your welcome tagline. You can adjust this here and you can use our AI assistant if you wanna regenerate it. Um, we've got your name in here. This is really important. Uh, highly recommend always putting your name on your site. I can't, um, can't tell you how many photographers' websites I've gone to and I've just been like, where are you and where are you based? <laughs> I can't even tell. It's one of the first things I really wanna know about uh, that photographer. You'll notice Taylor is saying he's here in the UK. That's because the uh, location is based off of your setting in your profile settings. And I'm using this test account, imagining Taylor's in the UK. So don't worry too much about that. Of course, you can regenerate the text really easily here if needed. This is where your about photo goes. Again, highly recommend putting a very friendly looking photo of yourself. Um, don't come off as scary or <laughs> don't need to be too edgy. I assure you, I've seen some pretty crazy about photos. You know, I know it's really creative to maybe like hide half your face with a shadow or something like that, but we're not Batman. Your clients aren't hiring Batman. They just want to see that you're a, a nice, friendly looking person. <laughs> Next, we've got your portfolio or your gallery section. This accepts up to 15 images. And if you want to rearrange images, it's very easy. You can uh, rearrange them by dragging and dropping the uh, images around until you have a layout that you really like. This is the video section. You can add in a video um, and write in a little description about that video. Next is our packages section. So you can select your packages very easily from here. So you can feature up to three different packages on your uh, website. It's really easy just to select and reselect the packages you want to show up in your featured packages section. Next, we've got testimonials. Testimonials are pretty easy. You go into the testimonial section. You can add more testimonials if you'd like, or you can go in and change out the images from within the testimonial section. Okay, now I'm gonna back out here and I'm going to get to a very exciting feature, which is the nav bar and the footer customization that we've added to the Focal Website Builder. This is a recent addition and it's really, really powerful because what it allows you to do is actually customize the different links in your nav bar or your footer bar and you can point them to different pages on your focal site you can even point them to external urls so if you want to point to um, an article you've been featured in or something like that you can also link in external urls but for this example i'm going to show you how to link to a blog post this is a really powerful tool in combination with the focal AI blogging feature. Um, something that I always recommend photographers do is kind of maybe highlight venues that they like to shoot at, um, maybe write an about section, or you can also use this section to show off more of your photos. So I'm gonna actually go out to our blogging feature really quickly over here, and I'm gonna put together a little gallery. So I've got this little Iceland um, gallery because I'm now using a solid nav bar, I can reduce the uh, image opacity using the overlay, make sure that the image is looking great. And then what I'm actually gonna do here is go and add some photos into this uh, blog post, and we're gonna create a little gallery and link it into the nav. So I'm just gonna go here really quick, grab some of Taylor's awesome Iceland photos. I've got this one. And we've got this one and we'll use a couple other layouts from our system here. Let's use, use this one, a little opposite grid action. <laughs> and I don't think this photo is from Iceland, but 
looks more like Italy, but we'll stick it in there for this example. Great, so now I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to publish this post and that's gonna actually make it available um, to link to in the navigation bar. Um, and again, this is a really powerful feature because it essentially allows you to create different pages on Focal with our um, blogging system and then link them into the nav bar of your website. Also, I'll bring my face back now. I forgot. <laughs> Here I am. Okay, back to the website editor, into the nav bar. We're going to go to that portfolio tab and we're going to put in like Iceland, Iceland, Ice, oh my goodness, Iceland Gallery. Goodness, I cannot spell Iceland Gallery. Perfect. And then we're going to select that Iceland Gallery. Oh, I forgot to publish it. Let's go back. Sorry, um, just need to make sure you actually publish the post so it's accessible. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and publish this post. Let it save. And then we'll go back and actually customize the nav link. There we go. So now we're gonna go back to the website editor, right into the nav bar. We're gonna choose that portfolio and we're gonna call it Iceland Gallery. Perfect, there we go, Iceland Gallery. And we're gonna select the Iceland Gallery here from our blogs, perfect. And we're gonna hit save. Excellent, okay. So now that we've got that guy available there, I'm gonna open up Taylor's site. You're gonna see the um, Iceland Gallery tab is showing up here. And now it's really easy to you know, click on that one and then it's actually going to take us right over to the Iceland Gallery post. And it's really nice because it says, uh, like what you see, get more booking info. And then that's actually going to take the user over to the pricing page. So again, you'll notice that a lot of Focal is designed as a marketing funnel for your customers. So they're getting familiar with you. They're getting familiar with your work. And then kind of directing them now to check out your pricing and packages. Um, we have a totally separate video on how to get the most out of your pricing page and your packages. I highly recommend checking that out after you finish watching this one. So that's a yeah great way to kind of customize your Focal website. You can choose where to link your different nav items. You can choose different sections here on your home page. You can li actually link to different packages as well. So some photographers I know will do like a you know, a special, you know, offer, or maybe they'll do like, um, maybe they'll do like some Christmas minis or something like that. And then you can actually link to like a Christmas mini package, or maybe there's a special couples package you're offering or something. You can put that in there. Another suggestion I would have would be like adding in vendors. So, um, Taylor is a preferred vendor at a number of locations, so he can link to his preferred vendor page. So I actually have a preferred um, venue review sort of page here, and uh, you can link right into that. So there we go. We got that preferred vendors um, blog post in there. And then after this saves, we'll just go back to his site and refresh. There we go. Now we have a preferred vendors tab up here. And if we click on it, we'll go to his preferred venue, uh, sorry, venue, uh, not vendors, post. So it's talking about Langdon Hall here. It's got some great images. And yeah, again, a great way kind of to customize your focal site, make it more your own, customize the nav bar. It's also great um, to show off particular maybe um, posts or um, packages that you're offering and just gives you a lot more flexibility within the focal um, website builder. So there you go. That's uh, most of the features on the Focal website builder. I hope I've covered most of them. Of course, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to reach out to our team. We really want to help you guys succeed with Focal. So even if you have questions about SEO or just e even general business questions, our team has worked with hundreds of photographers now. We're happy to make some recommendations and make sure that you're succeeding um, with the Focal platform. Really excited. I'm really excited to see your guys' website. So if you build a website that you're really proud of, feel free to post it on our Facebook group or send it over to me. I'd love to see it. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited for you guys to use the builder and I hope it helps you guys with your business. Cheers and stay tuned for the next video.